This is just a sample of the training available at ITDVDs.com. To see complete training, please go to ITDVDs.com. Let's begin the sample. ARP stands for Address Resolution Protocol. And ARP finds a MAC address from an IP address. And it's actually an important protocol for IP networks. Let's take our simple network here. And we got computer A and computer B. Let's say computer A needs to communicate with computer B. How would it do that? Well, first of all, it's going to try to find the IP address of computer B. And let's say it uses DNS to try to find that IP address because it knows the name of computer B. So it qu queries the DNS server, say, hey, do you have an IP address for computer B? The DNS server returns the IP address. So now computer A knows computer B's IP address, but doesn't know its MAC address or hardware address. So it can't communicate with it yet. And this is where ARP comes in. So computer A is going to send out an ARP request, and an ARP request is a broadcast. It's going to say, hey, I know this IP address. What's the MAC address for it? So it's going to broadcast that out, and because it's a broadcast, it's going to go to all hosts in the broadcast domain, including computer B in this situation. Computer B is going to see this ARP request and say, hey, that's my IP address. I know my MAC address. Let me send my MAC address to you, computer A. So it's going to send it. And now computer A is going to know the MAC address and the IP address of computer B. And now it can communicate directly with it. And we're going to talk about this process more when we get to encapsulation. Next is reverse address resolution protocol. And this uh, is good to know about, but it's not necessary really to know it in depth. Uh, it was used for hosts or computers that couldn't figure out their own IP address. So they would actually send a reverse ARP request and say, hey, here's my MAC address. What's my IP address? So this finds an IP address from a MAC address. So it's the reverse of ARP. Next is proxy address resolution protocol or proxy ARP. And this answers the ARP queries for a network address that's not on the network. Uh, that's not on that network that the request came from. So let's take this example. Let's say this computer needs to find a MAC address for an IP address. And it's trying to communicate with this computer over here. It knows its IP address. It queried it in DNS, so it's in good shape. So it sends out an ARP request. And remember, that's a broadcast. So it's going to broadcast the ARP request, but it's going to hit this router. And a broadcast isn't going to go past this router because that's where the broadcast domain stops. But this router can act as a proxy. And this is called proxy ARP. So proxy ARP isn't so much a specific request. It's more of a service that can be running on a router. And if you're not familiar with a proxy, a proxy basically makes a request on behalf of someone else or something else. So that ARP request is going to be sent out, and this router is actually going to send back its own MAC address and say, hey, I know where that IP address is. It's over here. I'm going to send you my MAC address. Just send the, the frame to me, and I'll take care of it from there. 